Yo, what's up? It's Pyro Looney again. Uh, here's going to be our part two video of my uh, vintage and collectible fireworks. Today we're going to be looking at uh, some old label cakes and uh, my rockets. So I hope you all like it. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is we'll start off with these uh, little cakes that I got. Um, you can find these um, at the Shelton Fireworks in Fremont, Indiana. They have pallets full of them. Uh, just a disclaimer, um, I don't exactly know how old these are. I know that that particular uh, location of Shelton Fireworks is known for their um, more older stock that they have uh, there to purchase. So these could just be newer cakes with older labels on them. I'm not sure. Uh, one indication that I found that possibly they might be older, maybe late to, or excuse me, late 90s, is that the barcodes on them are uh, they're not printed on, and then they have kind of the old uh, fuse tape over them. Uh, now I think most places put. Um, the little like uh, foil uh, sticker over them now but anyways uh, we'll get on with it this is a blue rain thunderclap nine shots um, I honestly could not tell you really what all of these do I know that they're not really the greatest cakes none of them are very noisy at all they're more for effect uh, just a little 200 gram cake We've got Anti-Missile over here, nine shots. I really like the uh, packaging on these. I think they're pretty cool. Go ahead. Thunderstorm floral shell. Uh, there's a misprint on here. It's an O instead of a D. So that's kind of goofy. Nuclear Bomber, I think this had Crackle in it, if I'm not mistaken. Sound Mine, seven shots. Okay, and then these three over here, these are like the fountain with, um, shots kind of combo deal um, this is blue stars with reports um, there are no reports on this they're just little horse tails garden in spring this is my absolute favorite one they are 295 so they're pretty cheap and this one after the fountain, the uh, six shots, is that right? Yeah, six shots that go up. They're actually pretty good reports on there. Um, I would highly recommend if you see any of those with this label on it to go ahead and uh, check it out. I know that um, this isn't like the original Garden in Spring because the real deal one from like the 80s, I forget, I think it was Horsehead or Westlake brand, um, but it had their little logo up top. So it, this one isn't terribly old, but pretty, pretty darn cool though. I love the reports on that. Desert at night. This one did not have reports. Just had little uh, horse tails on it. And then our last little one is a news transmitter, which isn't the safest one. I shot one off last year on the 4th of July and they did not go up. They started shooting out from the bottom. Uh, pretty dangerous. Um, and if you kind of look, it does not have any clay or anything. These are the tubes for the shots. And then this is just paper and it's all hollow on the inside. So if you pick these up, I mean, it's kind of cool to have in a collection, but I would never shoot these though. I, they, it's pretty dangerous. All right, we'll go ahead and take a look here. This is an opened package of Red Lantern brand Whistling Jacks, and they are dot class C. When I got this thing, 
um, it was in a pile that was covered up by jumping jack bricks and the whole pile was pretty much all water damaged. Um, the original wrap that was on this was all brittle and cracking apart and everything, but out of the whole one, this was the uh, only uh, gross that had the dot C on it. So I had it sitting on my shelf for a while and then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna open it up, you know, and you open it up. Again, packaging isn't very good, but the inside was just perfectly preserved by these little plastic sleeves. I've already shot 12 of these off and these are freaking awesome. They whistle really loud. They travel really far across the pavement and they have two reports on them. You can see these all have the dot C's on them too. Uh, but this was an absolutely awesome find uh, that I was able to get. Okay, so in this shoe box, I've got a lot of little packs of old um, bottle rockets. Um, they aren't in the greatest condition, but these are the three that are inside of that box. The first one we'll start off with, again, not in the greatest condition, but they are a Lightning Bolt brand. Smart Bomb Whistling Moon Travelers. I shot a gross of these off. Pretty nice. Um, this is definitely before the 2000s. This company is no longer uh, in business. Got ourselves a Red Lantern Moon Traveler with report. Uh, these are UNO, but they're pretty old though. And then we have an Air Travel by Horsehead, and it is dot C. I don't think I've shot these off. Okay, so in this corner now, I've got several larger bottle rockets, all from uh, about the 1980s, 1990s. Uh, some of them are dot C, some of them are UNO. We'll go ahead and start off with this one. Um, this is Emerald Meteors. Let me go ahead and get a single one out. This is what a single one looks like. Very cool. We've got ourselves Tigerhead brand, if any of you older pyros remember Tigerhead. These are Pearl's Rockets. This is Dot Class C on there. Very cool, very cool. I've got this, I don't know what brand this is, but it's got a little smiling tiger on there. It's a Phoenix rocket. And I have yet to shoot these off. So in the near future, there will be a demo on these. Next up, we've got another tiger head. Uh, this time it's Moon with Silvery Brightness. Over here, we've got a Horsehead brand Clustering Bees rocket. This is UNO, but I think it's cool that the uh, uh, copyright year is 1960, which means that this label has been used since the 60s. Over here, this is another Horsehead clustering bees rocket, but it's got a different wrap on it. I'm trying to focus on that number right there, if it'll let me. All right, camera was out of focus, so I had to restart. This is the tiger head moon with silvery brightness uh, rocket. This is just a pack of them. 
And then the last one I have, which is not in the greatest shape, it's that smiling little Tiger brand again. Again, I don't know what it is, but they're Eagle Rockets. I'll probably take the wrap off of this eventually and just have them loose on there. Okay, and then kind of the um, big part of the uh, collection here are these two packs of Horsehead brand display shell rockets. I had to dig around a store for these and I'm super happy about the find. Uh, these ones over here are UNOs with the blue tips. They sell them with blue tips and then the reproductions without the Horsehead logo on them have red tips. I shot a pack of these UNO ones off and they travel pretty far. They don't have a report. It's just a horsetail effect on them, kind of like those uh, cakes over there that I mentioned earlier. It's really cool that I have something this old uh, in this condition in my collection. And then the second pack, horse head logo on there. Go ahead, look over here. Dot Class C Common Fireworks, baby. <laughs> uh, so this is, this is, uh, yeah, when I found this, it was a pretty good day for me, I'd say. So, yeah, that's, that's it for those rockets right there, then. Okay, so wrapping up this video here, um, this is kind of a treat. A couple years ago, a buddy of mine, his neighbor, gifted the two of us a shoebox full of old firecrackers and bottle rockets. Um, and in it, it came this price sheet for a fireworks stand, uh, which I guess in itself proves the age on these fireworks. You can see down here it was revised on uh, June 10th of 1985. But we'll just kind of scan over. Um, it's cool seeing uh, the prices. Uh, this is the assortment list, so it looks like they had two assortments. One of them was $15, that came with all of this over here. Like a five pack, uh, five packs of 16 firecrackers came with that. Tanks, helicopters, bottle rockets. And then a, uh, another assortment for $20. And then down here it had um, the individual list then for these. So this is this is a very, very neat, uh, what I would consider a piece of uh, pyro history. I love this thing. This, uh, this is probably one of the coolest things that I have on hand. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for some more Pyro Looney. Thank you for watching.